Hey Fanatics, Dave here with another video tutorial from LightroomFanatic.com. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can remove your location information from the images that you export from Lightroom. By default, most smartphones and a lot of new cameras embed the GPS location where the picture was taken in the metadata for the file. That's great for being able to see where you've been in the map module of Lightroom, but you may not want that information staying with images you put on Facebook or your blog. Fortunately, Lightroom makes it easy to remove your location when you export or publish your images. You can see whether or not your images include the GPS coordinates by looking at them in the library module. Here's a picture I took from my phone last week in New York, and as you can see on the right-hand side, the GPS coordinates are filled in. And if I switch over to the map module in Lightroom, you can see that Lightroom takes those coordinates and will place it on the map where the image was taken. So to remove the location information, we're actually going to export this image from Lightroom. So when I go to the export dialog, on the bottom of the options for exporting an image, there's a metadata section. And under there are some options for including just the copyright only, copyright and contact information, and these two down here that will include all the information except the camera and camera raw info and all the metadata. So if you were to export this image with all of the metadata, it would include the GPS coordinates and everything else. But Lightroom provides this little option right here that says remove location information. And if you select that and export your image, Lightroom will export the image with all of the metadata but it'll strip out the location information. So I've already done that on this copy of the image and as you can see on the bottom right here where the GPS coordinates were filled in before they're no longer populated. And that's all there is to it. I hope this tutorial was useful. If you have any questions feel free to let me know otherwise check out more over at lightroomfanatic.com. While you're there, remember to sign up for the newsletter and get a free copy of our Lightroom Performance Boost eBook. Check out the resources page for tools, plugins, and discount codes. And remember to follow me over on Twitter at LRFanatic.